Good morning, this is in Shaman Oracle reading for Tuesday. Today I'm reading for Cancer, Leo and Virgo. And this reading now is for Virgo. Welcome Virgo. I'm using the Moon and Stars Tarot. And I'm using two cards of the deck. And the first card is Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords relates to self-interest relaxation and surrender and the meaning of the card is recuperation you need to take a break to recuperate heal and rest your soul now is the time to move on from the affairs of the heart so take a deep breath and time out to relax and accept the emotions you are feeling there is a strain on a relationship as it goes on hold. Equally, you may need to step back from a stressful work situation to find peace. So recharge yourself and rest and surrender yourself to the situation in order to move forward. The star message is Look after yourself and slow down. The second card is King of Wands and the keywords they are magnetism, sensuality and determination. And the meaning of the card is passion. This king is passionate and creative with a magnetic energy. He represents a male influence in the reading. He is strong-willed and always moving forward. He is a leader who naturally takes control with his eye on the prize. His expectations of you, they are high. Striving for perfection, he freely communicates his ideas while inspiring adventure. This card signifies you following his example, leading to great success within relationships and career prospects. The star message here is be generous with your time and passionate with your heart and others will follow your lead. The card from beyond Lemuria for you is called Manifestia. And this card says you can decide how you want to live. The universe fully supports your choice to step into the optimal version of yourself. Dream big, then dream bigger. Now is a great time to start the projects you have been considering. All it takes is some pollination. So be creative with your visions. Sow the seeds of the reality you want to experience through affirmative thinking and higher intention. Then Anchor your dream seeds by manifesting them from the heart. Know and trust that your dreams are already on their way and expect to see results. The priest of, uh, the priestess of light oracle card is called precognition. And precognition is about psychic ability and future vision. The Egyptian priestess on this card has developed a profoundly heightened psychic ability. She looks peacefully into the light hovering over her right hand where images of the future <coughs> reveal themselves. A soft glow 
emanates from her throat center and brow chakra, radiating from beneath her hawk headdress. The hawk aids her in reaching higher levels of consciousness. This messenger bird represents expansive psychism and future vision. This card indicates that you are now capable of reaching new heights of intuition and precognitive ability. In fact, you may have already noticed flashes of insight and deeper awareness. If so, trust the information you receive and let yourself look even deeper into the potential meanings of your future visions. There may be important messages coming your way. These may take the form of guidance about future choices or inspirations about creative, career-related or personal projects. So remember that your soul vibrates at a level of spirit connection. For this reason, this card may also indicate a potential career involving psychic or intuitive practices. In fact, you may have had such careers in your past lives. Know that your soul is calling you to reconnect and take time to meditate more so you can peacefully receive. Let yourself trust your grounding and growing intuition. The spirit world is open to you, ready to reveal your future potential and all that you need to know now. See this affirmation I am one with the spirit world. Every day my psychic ability grows. See again. I am one with the spirit world. Every day my psychic ability grows. Last time. I am one with the spirit world. Every day my psychic ability grows. Next comes the wisdom of the House of Night Oracle. And the card that came out is called Message. And the goddess, the goddess, goddess Nix says, Get ready and pay attention. You are about to get a message with special meaning. Maybe someone will text you something nice or you will find out about something in a phone call from a friend. Perhaps a letter will come in the mail or maybe I will send a sign to you in nature that will point you in the right direction. Regardless of what you ask, you will soon know the answer. Or, at the very least, know the way. A message is coming. Choose another card if you need to know what the message will be about. So I did choose a second card. And the second one is called Conclusion. And this card is saying this is the time of endings and new beginnings. Drawing this symbol indicates that you have come to the end of some experience in your life and you are about to enter a new one. So don't resist the conclusion for endings are important experiences and will help you build a stronger foundation for your next adventure. This is also a warning 
to get all the facts before you draw a conclusion about someone. You cannot know the whole story if you haven't read to the end. So remain open even when an ending is final or a conclusion is correct. This is a sign that a new story is about to unfold. So, that was your reading, Virgo. Thanks for listening. I wish you a wonderful week. Take care and goodbye.